We're switching it up. No! I, I wanted to switch it up. No! For oh, the love of the goddess! Are you kidding fine. me? Fine. Just sit you there. Wanna... All right, no, no, fine. No, no, no. Sit right. with the pineapple. I like the pineapple. Yeah! Whoever has a pineapple gets to talk. Ha 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 ha. Talking. Whatever. Shut up. All right, fine. All I know is I have my vodka because I like vodka. Somebody else likes Stop mine. Stop playing Whatever. the camera. Wait a minute. Mm. Okay, so this one's mine. I didn't light my candle yet. Really? We're doing this side? I don't know. I don't know. I don't like it. I'm used to doing it a certain way. Kind of like, you know, when I you've know. been married. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you're like, all right, honey, we got three minutes. What can you give me? What is this about? What are we talking about today? What's today's, what's today's topic? Wait a minute. I didn't do my intro. I know. Get going. What the fuck? Hi everyone and welcome to our channel, Truth Serum. Today we're talking about the words thank you. We did I'm sorry, sorry, not sorry, but when was the last time that you thanked somebody in your life that was close to you? When was the last time you just thanked the doorman for opening up the door? Oh, I do that all the time. You say thank you? Yes, I say thank you all the time to random people. I do people, say thank you. But I don't say thank you to like you. You never say thank you to me, but do you say thank you to the people that are important in our lives? No. And that's something that we were talking about. Yes. And it's important to let people know why that we appreciate them and, and what they do. Like, can I tell the flatbed story? Yeah, go ahead. I love go the ahead. flatbed story. I don't know what you're talking about, but go ahead. So the flatbed story is all about uh, Val's husband, Scott, who I love, uh, he, he loves big equipment and I don't know, he's always bringing home, I don't know, bulldozers, backhoes. Diesel stuff. You diesel, know. whatever, baby bulldozers. What is that called, Girl Friday? Bobcat. Thank you. Bobcat. <laughs> Go Girl Friday. And one day, Scott drives home and behind this is his This years truck, ago before I had kids, it's, right? Uh, he's driving home. I just never forgotten the story. Driving home and it's a flat and he's It's a towing. trailer, like a trailer. A right. trailer that it's yeah. a flatbed, so he could put things on it. And Scott goes, Val, come on outside, I got something to show you. And and she goes, Oh, honey, a flatbed, I'm so excited! Yay! Thank you. Yeah, and you were like, what, what are you talking about? It wasn't a vacation, it wasn't going someplace. No. It wasn't sparkly. I mean, one of the sparkles, I like sparkles. I it wasn't dinner, it was a flatbed truck. That's right, and I did. I mm -hmm. said thank you. But on the same side, when I was with my women's group and we were all doing a thing and they're like, okay, let's be thankful. And we write in our grateful journals and we thank mm -hmm. everybody every night. And we say all the things that we're grateful for and thankful for for the day. Over time, I noticed I never said thank you to Scott. Your husband <gasps> never said thank you. I said thank you more to the doorman or the person ordering McDonald's. Thank you than I did to my husband, Scott. So I sometimes think that saying thank you is like this meaningless bleh. Is it as we get older, why aren't we thanking people more? Sometimes well, that matters. People like more it, that matter. It's like an expectation, I... I'm older, hold the door open for me. I'm older, mm -hmm. I don't need to respect you like uh, I would if I were younger because I have yeah. ways of, um, being thankful, but I'm not going to show you. Yeah. I don't know what that last sentence was because I was disrupted by Girl Friday. Well, what's Girl Friday talking to yeah. you about? Oh, oh, what do you want to take very away? good. Takeaway message. Oh, that you get to take the question tonight. Too. I have to do the. Are you yes. going to answer the question? Yes, I can answer the question. Okay, so Tell we've got our takeaway message. I, I guess what we want to say is, when saying I'm sorry is just as important as saying thank you, but thank you needs to be said all the time. Well, with me because it's a pot. Of course, with her. But, but thank you needs to be said all the time. And when you say thank you to somebody, it doesn't matter. The barista, the cab person, oh, the see. person that's waiting on you in, uh, in the restaurant or you know the cashier at the closing place. Saying thank you always makes somebody smile. Make and it part of your everyday speech. Bingo! Okay. I could text thank you right now. I don't know where my cell phone went, but Who I could text. Who are you going to text thank you to? I don't know. Well, well, somebody, we don't know. I don't know, but that's what I'm saying as I could text thank you. Because I'm, I'm hip now, you know. But I mean, I'm still you relevant. Won't. You don't even know how to use your phone. I do. I'm good with that. So, I think, oh, wait a minute. Oh, he has my phone. Okay, oh, go. Oh, he has your phone. Oh, nice. All right, go. Oh, wait a minute, but 
I think the most talking. important thing we need to do right now is is thank you for watching. Thank you oh, for tuning in. Oh, there it is. Thank you for subscribing. Bam. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Am thank I ringing you. the bell? Because then you'll get notified. Like if you turn the bell on. But they're not going to get notified unless you subscribe. But I'll say that thank you. Works. I will say thank you. I don't know how it you. works. I you thank everybody who contacts me and our email. I thank them individually. So please. Well, Bring there's the whole thank I'm not you the only note one. thing, but I do that. Won't even I go love down thank you notes. So thank you. Namaste. Okay, question for Miss Valeria. <laughs> Loves it when she calls Tori H. from Long Meadow, Mass. Oh, yeah, up north. Ooh, yeah. Okay. When is it appropriate to re gift? Oh, Ooh. re gifting. Yeah. Personally, I think it's appropriate all the time, as long as you don't keep the receipt in the bag. That's a no no. What do you think? Are you going <laughs> to. What? Are you going to re-gift to question. a family member or are you going to re-gift to somebody that's yes. never going to know? So one of the things I've definitely done before is kid gifts. Like I get so much kid crap at the holidays or whatever and birthdays. I re-gift them. And one time I re-gifted the person who re-gifted and it was bad. <laughs> because the receipt, like I said, was still on it. And it had the date. Like it was like a year later. It was really bad. I don't like this side, and I'm not going to be on this side the next time I am off. I don't get this whole fucking question thing. I don't like it. Just I take just a shot. Lucky. We didn't do your truth serum. Take a shot. Don't wait until Thanksgiving to say thanks. I'm going to do And this. thank you. Bye. Okay. A shot of the truth, ladies. Cheers. Cheers. Menopause. I don't want to talk about menopause. That is not a topic I want to talk about. Oh, we're so tall. No, I don't want to talk about that.